Good evening and welcome to the fourth wall. With me tonight as usual is our resident critic, Mr. Bill Jones. Bill, it is a controversial choice tonight. It's the curse of the dead. It certainly has caused a stir in the press. As you know, several tabloids are uh, calling for it to be banned. Mm -hmm. Religious groups are up in arms about it and now even MPs are getting involved and they're kicking up a stink in Parliament. But let's be honest, it doesn't take much for them to do that nowadays, does it? <laughs> it certainly doesn't. Um, but I think what you need to look at is with uh, situations like this where there's a moral panic looming on the horizon is just take a look at the actual film itself, mm -hmm. which I think is probably one of the greatest horror movies made in the last decade. Really? I mean, that's contrary to a lot of the reviews that have been released already. Well, it's the thing. There's been a lot of reviews that have said it's crass, exploitative. Some have even said it's downright evil. Um, but the fact that the film attempts to do something interesting with our relationship with life after death and with our relationship with the dead. Um, it's a really atmospheric film. I was blown away by it when I saw it and it did also make me feel a little queasy at the end. Well, I know that you weren't the only one that felt that way because there were several walkouts in our screening. Yeah, there was and I think that is unfortunate because um, it's a powerful movie and the director takes you to this kind of place and when asked about the film's uh, atmosphere, the director said it was something uh, he didn't want to be projected. He wanted it to be kind of burned into your corneas. Well, speaking of corneas, feast your eyes on this, people. This is the trailer for Curse of the Dead. Enjoy. All right, lads. Never, and I mean never, take your fingers off the glass. You can only take your fingers off the glass when you're granted permission, okay? Permission? Yeah, just don't do it. Understood? Understood. Understood. All right, Darren, you go first. Okay, <coughs> is there anyone in here with us now? Oh, which one of you girls did that? It wasn't me, me and you both. Oh, don't play games, I know it's one of you, okay? Stop messing with us. It's not a bloody choke. Alright, alright, someone obviously thinks they're funny. Let's just carry on, okay, it's your turn. Okay, um... What's your name? Why are you here? Me? Why? <laughs> Welcome back to the fourth wall. We have been joined by David Davis, the star of Curse of the Dead. Thank you for joining us, David. Thanks for having me. First off, David, did you know that this would cause such a firestorm in the press? No, I personally can only speak for myself, but I feel that since the release, the reaction towards the film has been quite intense. Mm -hmm. And personally, I've had journalists follow me down the street and ask me if I was ashamed of myself or if I knew that the thing I've been working on was deprived and evil. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I think it's quite bizarre. Do you think Paul Anderson intended to provoke this reaction? Because a lot of people have even suggested that he did it for monetary reasons. No, I think the papers are, are the ones that push that angle. Um, I know Paul didn't sit at his desk and think, how can I piss someone off? Mm -hmm. Of course, no director wants their film to fail. You know, you, you, you need your film to be popular. You need to turn a profit. But I think the thing is with Anderson's past work, and particularly with Curse of the Dead, is a sense of curiosity. What do you mean by that? Well... His films have a sense of longing for an answer. You mm -hmm. know, when I've watched his past work, I've always had more questions than answers when I yeah. came out of it. Um, and that cause it kind of challenged the audience, you know, they make them have ask uncomfortable questions or feel uncomfortable when they watch his movies. And was there a sense of that one on set, David? Yeah, well, every morning before shooting scenes, he'd ask me what I thought about this mm -hmm. aspect or that aspect. And even during shooting the scenes, he'd ask a lot of me. So yeah, I guess there was a sense of inquiry for him. Well, moving away from Curse of the Dead, tell us a little bit about the film that you're working on at the minute. I'm working on a film called Lemons of Wrath with George Clooney and Kieran Knightley. In my opinion, it's a great classic American film. I can't wait for all of you to see it. Well, let's hope it doesn't leave a sour taste in the mouth. Unfortunately, that is all we have time for today on The Fourth Wall. I'd like to thank Bill Jones and David Davis for joining us. That is all we have time for. Good night.